Might as well give you a basic uh, look and feel of the uh, basic look about what the uh, interface for say mid links with the uh, mate desktop is. And this is not how it originally looks when, when, when it's uh, say from a clean when, with a clean install. It will not look like this. Like these two icons here were not, were not originally on here, but were added on here. This is what we call the panel. So if you get this icon here, which is like similarities to Windows Start Menu. That's like the version right there, 20.1. They say if you want to hide all windows and start desktop. And there's like the file browser icon. And that's terminal, which is like the command line. With Linux installations, there's always like the terminal. And the Firefox web. Figure these. Which pretty much would be on the desktop by default. And a clean install. Like say once for say LibreOffice Writer and and office calculator. Uh, first, we'll start with the lower point here. This is just like the Windows, like the the ta like Windows Taskbar. Is your date, day of the week, or whatever. Wi-Fi network. There's an update icon here. Let's know if your system's up to date or needs some updates. This is like similar to icon like like the Windows Start menu icon you've seen. This one here, if you have Windows open, you want to show desktop, you can click here to minimize them. Oh, say file browser if you want to browse the file system. You want to use the command line, that's what we call the terminal. You have all those Linux and Unix setups. And the Firefox web browser will be, which is installed, which is pretty much the default with all these Linux installations. Those are three, those are the icons right there. Find the panel. These ones here. For say LibreOffice Writer, which is like Microsoft Word, and LibreOffice Calc, which is like Microsoft Excel. Three icons right there. These ones here, these are there by default, and then these two I added on after the installation. Without these two, the rest would be what's on there by default in a clean install. Let's say application menu. You say a place like computer, home folder, network, desktop, trash. And for a system, you have software manager, package manager, control center, terminal, lock screen, logout. This is a quick, like if you want to restart the system or turn it off. Applications, there's like many categories here. Oh, let's list everything on here. I mean everything. Oh, there's like categories here. Like accessories. Which is, which is, which is on here in a clean install. Games is uh, not. If you want to install games, if you install games, it'd be different. These are all installed after. There's no games on this by default. Graphics, drawing utilities, picks, internet, 
at the Nikair text messaging to say you want to download a share over BitTorrent So surprising it comes with that by default on Windows. I would say the ability to uh, download anything through BitTorrent or anything through torrenting sites, you'd have to pretty much download a separate application for that. An office, it's pretty much the LibreOffice sh uh, sh system, software. Yeah, comes with LibreOffice by default. Office Productivity Suite, which is probably the closest you can get to Microsoft Office without Like figure LibreOffice is probably the closest you can get to Microsoft Office. Figure LibreOffice draw. It's something you might find on versions of LibreOffice running on say offering systems other than Windows. Like LibreOffice draw, you will not find any Windows versions. Yeah, it's a default software, default application for all these Linux installations. As I was saying, LibreOffice Draw is, a, is, a, is, a, is a one of the LibreOffice features that does not appear on any Windows version of LibreOffice. Because Windows has its own paint programs on there too. Phase. Calculator, which is spreadsheet. Now everything that LibreOffice features, like say LibreOffice Face. This is like a data bit makes creates databases and manages them, which is similar to Microsoft Access, LibreOffice Calc, which is similar to Microsoft Excel. LibreOffice Draw that doesn't you don't want to find any versions of LibreOffice and Windows. LibreOffice Impress, which is pretty much like say saying I find, which is like the same as like Microsoft PowerPoint. LibreOffice Math, Math, <coughs> what is it creating as scientific formulas? I don't know if a version like that exists for any versions of LibreOffice operating on Windows. LibreOffice Writer is like similar to Microsoft Word. That's pretty much like say LibreOffice in a nutshell. <coughs> yeah, very concerning. LibreOffice operates on. Uh, it's pretty much found with all with all those Linux installations you probably hear of, which gives it pretty much like say functionality out of the box. That's probably similar like what was done years ago, like back in the old days years ago, when Microsoft uh, offered Works. There was like charge. There was giving. There was selling it to the manufacturers at such a fucking cheap ass price. I mean, fucking real fucking cheap as a motherfucker. So fucking cheap. Many factions start thinking, hmm, if they was able to sell, they, they could probably leave to sell fully function. They can, they can give, they can sell computers with complete functionality in a, out of the box. Because the OEM prices for Microsoft Works was so fucking low, it's like basically to say, make a couple bucks. It was probably giving away. <laughs> Nowadays, you want to sell computers with full functionality. It probably just, people might just be better you probably, probably have to simply download shit like that, put on a flash drive and install it and then make them and then make it install it themselves. Now we go to say sound and video. And this and say this and Linux, mid Linux does offer Full media function, or same media playback capabilities, right out of the, out of the box. To so say a webcam, you can use the f f application cheese, hypnotics, what they say, watch TV, celluloid, which is like one of its one of the media players it has. 
If Knox, as they say, something you can use to watch TV. This one here, it was installed by me. That doesn't, that is not uh, standard with uh, Mint Linux. On a rhythm box, if you have music collection, you want to organize sound. VLC Media Player, which is something that is available pretty much on various operating systems. And yeah, and you can and you can get VLC Media Player for say Fire Tablets without problem. So this does offer uh, the ability to play back media by default without any modifications. Now we're on system tools. You know, like say analyze your disk usage, folder sizes, file browser, log file viewer, power statistics, observe uh, power management. That's if say installing a laptop. You install this on a laptop, you'll probably get that. You got system monitor, which views current processors, monitor system state, and all that. Terminal, if you want to use the command line. This is like a system restore utility. That requires password because it's password protection. And administration. Make a backup tool over your own, make a backup of your own. Manage the drivers, configure login window, printers, software manager, software sources, synaptic package manager, system reports for troubleshooting, time and date, update manager, users and groups, update manager which shows updates when they become available and installs them. Preferences here. Say personal information, archive appearance, Bluetooth, desktop settings, disks, latest firewall configuration, input method, X things, keyboard, shortcuts, languages, main menu, mouse, network proxy, pop-up notifications, pop main saver, sound. Swipe applications, welcome screen, window properties. Welcome screen, which probably appears when he starts up for the first time. This is 64 bit. And for desktop, there's like computer, um, Eric Sir, these four icons here. Would be on, would be would be what you see on the desktop if I may invite a desk and a clean install may not in a clean install I think network service is not included. And you could just say it's probably just a little toward the uh, basic desktop right there from uh, Mint Linux with the uh, mate interface. I need to be honest. If you want to see what this desktop looked like in a clean install. I think maybe you should uh, check the uh, third part of the uh, video when I was like when I'm when I'm showing when you see me installing the operating system on here. You probably have a much better uh, idea what it looks like for sure. Otherwise, you could say that's pretty much like say a nice basic tour of the uh, Mint Linux uh, desktop with the uh, mate interface what they say is recommended for advanced users